so a national newspaper wants to do an article on my challenge and they've asked me for more information on how it's affecting my health and well-being and a lot of people have been asking this because people are obviously quite concerned um, I have lost more than half a stone in the past two weeks but I am really trying to be sensible and um, eat a healthy balanced diet try and get as much fruit and veg in there as I can obviously my portions are a lot smaller I can't snack um, it has made me very emotional over the past week um, it's a lot harder than I thought it, it was going to be and especially when I know that I'm not even halfway through my challenge um, and I'm really embarrassed to say this but the other day I kind of resorted to sucking on a vegetable stock cube because I'd used my allowance for the day and I had no food left to eat and I just felt I needed some something in like a, some taste in my mouth um, I don't have as much energy, um, obviously you can tell because I look like crap um, and I've had an upset stomach but I'm determined and uh, I have a lot of support so um, even from people that I don't know so um, Lisa if you're watching this um, whoever you are thank you so much um, for donating £100 I'm so grateful and um, for everybody else that have supported me it's really spurring me on and, um, and I know that I will do this for an, uh, four and a bit weeks um, because I know that I can stop after four and a bit weeks and so many millions of people can't and they will continue to live on less than a pound a day um, so uh, thank you so much for all your support and helping me raise awareness and raise money for this cause.